So today I'm talking about a P0744 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0744 code? Well, it's a torque converter clutch circuit intermittent. And what does this mean? Well, automatic transmissions use a torque converter and the torque converter basically uses fluid to connect the engine power to the transmission. So most vehicles nowadays have what's called a torque converter lockup clutch. And basically what this does is it locks the engine to the transmission so there's no slipping going on. But when you get a P0744 code, something's gone wrong with this torque converter and the torque converter lockup clutch. And there's some kind of issue going on. And so it's got to be troubleshooted. No why. And one thing to note about this code is that it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot and to fix. If the transmission has really high mileage on it, it might be better just to replace the transmission or to get it fully rebuilt. Although you can attempt to fix this code, just keep in mind that this can be kind of difficult to do sometimes. And so what are some possible causes of a P0744 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or really dirty transmission fluid. Some vehicles nowadays, they no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, if you do have a dipstick, go and check it. Be sure it's at the correct level. If it's not, be sure to add some in because low or dirty transmission fluid can cause problems with the transmission. The next thing that could cause this is a bad torque converter. There might be some kind of issue going on with the torque converter and it needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing the torque converter and checking to see if it has gone bad. Some common symptoms of a bad torque converter will be overheating, the fluid can be contaminated, the transmission doesn't shift correctly, and different things like this. Of course, a bad solenoid can also cause the torque converter not to work properly, so those will also have to be examined. But the next thing that can cause this is a bad torque converter. The next thing that can cause this is a bad torque converter clutch solenoid. Transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them. And if one of these solenoids goes bad, then that can affect the torque converter and the way it's working and different things like this. And every transmission is going to be different. The solenoids are going to be located differently. How many there are can also vary, different things like this. So if you do go to work on your transmission, you will need to get a diagram where all those solenoids are located so you can go and test them and check to see if they have gone bad. Basically, once you locate them, you can use a multimeter to check them for ohms. And then you look up what they're rated to be at. And if that solenoid's off, if it's not at the rated ohms that it's supposed to be, then you know it's bad and you know you need to replace it. There's some good videos on how you go about doing that. But the next thing that could cause this is one of the solenoids has gone bad. The next thing on the list is going to be there's some kind of wiring problem, mainly with the wires going to the solenoids that are related to the torque converter. Basically, keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, there's a bad connection or something like that, that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. But the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's a bad computer, like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module, or one of the computers is having some kind of issue. This isn't too common. Usually when you have a P0744 code, there's going to be some kind of issue going on with the transmission or with the wiring going to it. Well, but it is possible one of those computers has gone bad and there's some kind of issue going on with it. If you do think it's a bad computer, be sure that your battery is good and that the alternator is charging correctly. It's because these computers all need a good stable power supply or else it can throw them off and cause them to have issues. Also, all these computers need a good ground or else that can throw them off and cause them to have problems. So if you do think that's a problem, you can use a jumper wire. You could jumper to the computer and then jumper off to a good ground and then just see if the problem clears. But like I said, this is kind of rare. It's not usually a computer. But the last thing on the list is going to be that there is some kind of issue going on with one of the computers that's causing a problem. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0744 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.